Hello guys and welcome to another session of Dying Light 2. This time with a glitch that I had not assumed will make the game so miserable and unplayable that I got into depression. So I started off with the Elite Raid mission and from the beginning itself there was a modifier which stated regeneration will not happen automatically. So although I had used all my buff like toughness, regeneration and stamina, I was not thinking that this modifier will affect my stamina. So uh, now when I started the uh, raid um, using the weapon, I noticed that within one or maximum two hits, all of my, even the buffed stamina was depleting. And I thought maybe it was a glitch of the modifier or it will change in the next one. But since I've already started the game, glad yeah, I, can I can do, do it, it solo. solo. So uh, somehow or the other, I tried completing the task, especially where the bosses would be coming and uh, guns would not make much of a difference. So I would be using the glitched uh, weapon here uh, with a great difficulty uh, anyways I, I crossed it to the end thinking every flow that will change but it did not but uh, using only the weapon that I had the disadvantage that I felt was the reload time and it was not so quick and uh, although the shotgun is very powerful but but still uh, when you're playing the elite raid each and every hits count so uh, you have to be very careful anyhow um, I will not go into the details but yeah I finished the raid somehow uh, but now another surprise awaits. I cannot complete the floor. I mean, I can't exit. Wow. The floor could not be completed. I could not finish the mission and I was stuck in the lift. So I started hitting the zombies again with the rifle and all. Um, I roam around a bit. I thought it might probably work around if I just spend my time here, but it did not. I had to ultimately perform Harakira. Uh, I thought I could just, you know, go with a bang and try something out. Experiment like probably jumping around in the gap of the building. So um, I was assuming I would be glitched out, maybe uh, stuck in the wall or map, or maybe glide forever. But uh, before I could fall off, uh, I was late to rest in between itself, hitting the grills and lost 55,000 DL points. So basically one skill point. Uh, because the next skill point advancement was at 60k. Anyhow, that can be recovered. But then another thing happened. I mean, I had two life. I, I did not die even once. So when I killed myself, I thought it would be one life lost. But apparently, I was exited and no message came saying all lives lost. Uh, I faced the same problem in the real world in the map. Uh, like outside Hotel Plaza Elite Trade World. So I perform all sorts of swings with the weapon, as you can see, like 100, 200 uh, long swords, and also change a couple of settings like nightmare mode to easy mode to tactical stamina to regular stamp. Um, restarted the game a couple of times, and nothing. I mean, nightmare was still better. At least I could hit two shots with any weapon without stamina buff, but selecting easy gameplay was even worse i mean in one shot itself the whole stamina would deplete i mean how easy <laughs> convenient could that be um so i was really depressed that yes my game has been done for because i restarted a couple of times installed as well and it really did not make any changes i used a couple of buffs again and again and still of no use so i decided to use guns for a while which i was uh, good uh, for some time. I mean, it's it's good for a change, but still, it cannot be replaced uh, with the 100 or 200 weapons. I mean, it's good for a change. Uh, we need to have variety, uh, but the main weapon I am still uh, watching for uh, would be the 100. I mean, I'm a fan of it, and I'm uh, I like uh, um, the 100 machete. Yes, I realize that actually. Can you smell what I saw? Yes, cooking. Yep, I realize that actually it was not a glitch 
this was the new alteration WrestleMania mode which they have introduced and launched and coincidentally it was done at the same time when I launched the raid mission so um, probably within a span of like one minute I entered the raid and this WrestleMania alteration was released so I got stuck in the raid mission uh, I did not get the lives i was not able to exit the mission no buttons in the elevator stamina issue so apparently this wrestlemania alteration had a buff for punches uh, but somehow the weapons was causing this type of glitch so i started the game without the event and finally i got my dying love back and i'm so happy to have realized that yes this game although with many glitches still for now is the best zombie game out there I mean, although it has its own flaws, I, I, I'm, I still am uh, a Dying Light fan of uh, Dying Light 1. Uh, I mean, but th that music, that that feeling, that adrenaline, that era, that atmosphere, that sky, that color, that, that horror, that fear will always be there in Dying Light Part 1. But Dying Light 2 for now is currently the best in the list when talking about the zombies game, uh, zombie games so far. Uh, for now so after DL1 yeah this is the best one uh, I'm not a fan of WrestleMania alteration because I don't see much of a point you know I mean that was not much of fun I mean I couldn't have been it would have been better if the punches or kicks would have been uh, a bit different maybe like karate style or uh, something different uh, would have been introduced like slams and choke slams and uh, gripping throws etc uh, then it could have been excited uh, I mean, uh, but for now, uh, even the critical punches were not exciting enough. Anyways, so I, I would just go back to my normal gameplay with the weapons and guns with my restored stamina now. And with that, I would uh, for now bid farewell to all of you guys uh, watching my channel. Uh, please subscribe my channel. And if you like the content, then please support with the like button. So till next time, uh, take care. Ciao. Yeah! <laughs> yeah!